New on the Night Beat, it's a symptom of a problem facing many places in Bear County. Areas with na new neighborhoods springing up faster than road projects can widen heavily traveled streets or add controls. Now, just since last May, five accidents have happened at this intersection along Petranco Road outside 1604. Tonight, the defender's David Sears looks at one neighborhood's efforts to make getting on and off a busy street safer. It's a road map that could help other neighborhoods facing similar situations. Morning rush hour. Cars stack up at the corner of Bella Vista Place and Petranco Road. Drivers anxiously watch for a break in traffic so they can get out of the neighborhood. This intersection is just a dangerous intersection. Here, commuters aren't the only ones dodging traffic. Watch this school bus. During a morning commute, it waited more than four minutes just to cross Petranco. Because? For one reason, there's no stoplight. Don't run, don't run. Principal Glenda Munson directs traffic in the halls of Bernal Middle School, but it's the traffic outside that has her and other Northside ISD schools more concerned, especially when buses are taking kids home. There's a need because of the sight line. There is a need for a light there. This intersection sits below the crest of the hill and on a slight curve. It makes seeing brakes and traffic much tougher. Last spring, the Bella Vista HOA petitioned to have a signal put in for safety. TxDOT gave them a green light, even though it wasn't originally part of the plans to widen this part of Petranco Road. So uh, that was good news for all of us. We thought we had gotten the traffic light would be sorely needed. But now, 10 months later, still no signal. The area state representative told us that putting up a temporary light until this road widening project is complete is up to the county. Now, Bear County says no, its widening project for TxDOT only includes a permanent light when this project wraps up in a couple of years. Now, TxDOT tells us that's partly right. It does have a deal with Arcadia Ridge, the developer of this area, to put in a light before this widening project is done. Right now the time frame is to have that up before the end of the summer. For the defenders, David Sears, Case at 12 News. The defenders did some digging to see what other options are available for neighborhoods facing similar traffic troubles. We found HOAs can pay off-duty police officers or deputies to provide traffic control during peak times. They can also ask local law enforcement to step up patrols during heavy traffic times to discourage speeders. If you have an issue you'd like the defenders to consider, you can send an email to defenders at ksat.com. Be sure to include your contact information and documents that could help explain the situation.